Hello chemistry students, this is your video key for the worksheet Mole Mass Stoichiometry Practice 2. So the very first thing you have to do is balance the equations in all of these problems. And in order to do that here, you need to put a 3 in front of water and a 3 in front of lithium hydroxide. Um, so in our first problem, you always start with what you're given, in this case 5.5. 3, 4 moles of lithium nitrate and because we are given moles the very first proportion that we're going to create is the mole ratio so I'm going to use my coefficient from the equation for Li3n so that is one mole of Li3n 3n and that is equal to um, 3 moles of water. Why am I using water? Because that is what we're looking for in the equation. So next we need to use the equation that 1 mole of water is equal to the molar mass of water. And if you calculate the molar mass of water, you'll see that it is 18.02 grams of water. Now before we begin our calculations, we uh, cross out the diagonal units that are similar to each other. And now multiplying across 5.34 times 3 times 1 and then we're going to divide that product by 18.02 and when we do we get an answer of 288.68 grams of water. For letter B, this is a mole to mole problem so basically we're going to write down our given, use the mole ratio, and get our answer. So when it's mole to mole, how many moles, how many moles, then uh, this is a pretty straightforward short um, problem. So always again start with what you're given. Five moles of water. Now we use our mole ratio, putting moles of water from the equation on the bottom so that we can cancel those two out and then on the top we are going to put one mole of NH3 cross out moles of H2O and now we're going to multiply 5 times 1 is 5 and then we put 3 on the bottom so in your calculator you need to punch in 5 divided by 3 and you get 1.67 moles of NH3. And for the final problem in this set, um, how many moles of lithium hydroxide are produced from 98.7 grams of lithium nitride? So we always start with what we're given, 98.7 grams of lithium nitride. And because we're starting with grams, our first proportion has to be that um, one mole of Li3n is equal to the molar mass of Li3n. And if you calculate that out, you should get 34 point eight three grams of Li3n. And now we use the mole ratio. So uh, looking back at our equation, because we want to put moles of Li3n at the bottom, if we look back at our equation we see that there's no coefficient, so we have one mole of Li3n and that's going to be equal to, let's see what our coefficient is for lithium hydroxide, it's a 3, 3 moles of lithium hydroxide. Grams, grams, cross out, moles, moles, cross out, 
And now when we multiply across, 98.7 times 3 divided by 34.83 gives us 8.5 moles of lithium hydroxide. Okay. Problem set number two. Let's use a different color. So in problem set number two, in order to balance this equation, we just need a coefficient of two in front of hydrogen. Now on to our problems. Here uh, we are given moles and we're looking for grams. So the thing to remember is that um, the first proportion that you make has to be the mole ratio. So we start out with 5.74 moles of carbon monoxide. Multiply that by the mole ratio. Um, we're going to put one mole of CO on the bottom so that we can cross out moles of CO. Where did I get the one from? Right here. I got it from the equation. And we're looking for um, hydrogen, so we're going to put two moles of H2 on top. And now we use the equation that one mole is equal to the molar mass of something. Well, since we're looking for um, hydrogen, we, we don't want moles here, though. We want, we want grams, so we're going to put that one mole of hydrogen is equal to 2.02 grams of hydrogen. So now we can cross out our diagonal similar units, and now we multiply across. 5.74 times 2 times 2.02 gives us 23.19 grams of hydrogen. All right, our next problem is a mole-to-mole -mole problem, so we're just using our um, mole ratio here. So we're given 5 moles of H2, and we're multiplying that by the mole ratio of CH3OH, where we only we have no number there, so that's going to be a 1, so that's 1 mole of CH3OH over 2 moles of H2. Moles of H2 get canceled, and we have 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 2.5 moles of CH3OH. Okay, and finally, number 3 on this page. Uh, in order to balance this equation, you need to put a 2 and a 2 and a 4 here. Okay, letter A says calculate the mass of uh, sodium peroxide, which is Na2O2, in grams. So we're looking for grams here, needed to form 3.20 moles of O2. Now we're given moles, so remember that the first proportion you use is the mole ratio then. So uh, we have 3.20 moles of oxygen. We're going to multiply that by the mole ratio of sodium peroxide, because that's what we're looking for, um, to uh, oxygen, which is one mole of O2. So moles of O2 go away. And now we're going to, oops, this has to be moles up here. So now we're going to put one mole of Na2O2 on the bottom, and we're going to put the molar mass of Na2O2 on the top. And that amount is 77.98 grams of Na2O2 moles of Na2O2 go away, and now we multiply. 3.2 times 2 times 77.98 gives us 499.07 grams of Na2O2. Next, 
uh, we are get now we're given now it's the opposite we're given grams we need to find moles so the first proportion that you make has to use the equation one mole is equal to the molar mass of something so here uh, we're going to start it off with what we're given 42.4 grams of oxygen multiply that by one mole of O2 is equal to the molar mass of O2 which is 32 grams of O2 so grams of O2 go away and now we use our mole ratio and so since we have moles of O2 on top in the middle we're going to put one mole and again I'm getting that one from my equation so put that on the bottom so it can cross out and now we put the number of um, moles of sodium hydroxide on the top so 42.4 times 4 divided by 32 gives us 5.3 moles of NaOH. Okay, and then our last problem on this page is um, uh, we're given 4.48 grams of sodium peroxide and we're looking for moles so this problem setup is very similar to the setup in letter letter B just different numbers so we have 0.48 grams of Na2O2 and we're going to multiply that by um, one mole of Na2O2 over the molar mass of Na2O2 which um, I had already calculated up here so that's 77.98 grams of Na2O2 so now grams of Na2O2 go away and now I use my mole ratio so since I have moles of Na2O2 at the top I'm going to put uh, two moles of Na2O2 at the bottom and where did I get that 2 from? I got it from my equation so that's where I'm getting the numbers in the mole ratio and now I'm going to uh, put the uh, number of moles of what I'm looking for in this case oxygen on the top moles of Na2O2 go away so now I have 0.48 times 1 divided by 77.98 times 2. So this is going to be a really tiny number. 0.003 moles of O2. Okay. Let's move on to our next page so for our next problem here um, we balance our equation with a 4 and a 3 and a 2 and so letter A is um, telling us we've got moles and we're looking for moles so this is another one where you just multiply your given by the mole ratio so we have 2.3 moles of Al2O3. We're going to multiply that by the mole ratio. So we put 2 moles again from the equation. We're just matching. And then on top we put 4 moles of aluminum. Why? Because that is the, the element that we're looking for in the problem moles go away and when you multiply 2.3 times 4 and divide by 2 you get 4.6 moles of aluminum. Okay let's look at letter B. Oh and look at it's another easy one moles of O2 moles of aluminum so you always start with what you're given 0 0.84 moles of aluminum and now you multiply that by your mole ratio we're going to put moles of aluminum on the bottom so that we can cross these out 
We're going to put moles of what we're looking for on the top, like so. So 3 times 0.84 divided by 4 gives me 0 0.63 moles of O2. Wow, and look how nice Ms. McDonald is. We have another mole mole problem, so it's another short one. Start with what you're given, guys. 17.2 moles of O2 times the mole ratio. So again, since we have moles of O2 written here, we put that on the bottom. And what number goes in front? The coefficient from the equation. And then we put moles Again, that 2 is coming from the equation of what we're looking for on the top. Moles of O2 go away, and we have 11.47 moles of Al2O3, and that is your answer. Oh, I should probably circle all my answers, huh? There we go. All right, guys, last problem. Thanks for hanging in there. So in order to balance this equation, we need to put a 2 in front of water. So now for letter A, um, and as I scan through these problems, these are all gram mole or mole grams. So these, are, these, these last three are going to be long ones. All right, so how many grams of C2H2 are produced from 5 moles of CaC2? Always start with what you're given, and we're given 5 moles of CaC2. We will, uh, since we're given moles, we start off with our mole ratio. So use our equation. So we have 1 mole of CaC2. And then on top, we put moles of the compound we want. 1 mole of C2H2. And because we're looking for grams, now we have to add another proportion. And since we have moles of C2H2 on top, we're going to write one mole of C2H2 on the bottom. And we're going to put our molar mass of C2H2, which is 26.04 grams of C2, whoops, H2. Moles of C2H2 go away. And now we just multiply 26.04 by 5, and we get 130.2 grams of C2H2. All right, letter B. How many moles of CaC2 are needed to react with 72 grams of water? So now that we're given grams, our first proportion has is the equation 1 mole is equal to the molar mass. So we start out with what we're given, 72.0 grams of water. And now we're going to multiply that by um, 1 mole of water. Whoops, hold on. One mole of water is equal to the molar mass of water, which is 18.02 grams of water. So grams of water go away. And now we multiply this by our mole ratio. So since we're given grams, the mole ratio is the last thing that, that we um, write in our um, operation here. So since moles of water is on top, we're going to put moles of water on the bottom. Where am I getting that 2 from? I'm getting it from the balanced equation above. And then on top, I'm going to write 1 mole of CaC2. Why CaC2? Because that's what we're being asked for in the problem. And where did I get the 1 from? From the absence of the coefficient in the equation. So now moles of water go away. I'm left with my unit that I want. Um, and uh, this answer is 2 moles of CaC2. All right, guys, our last one. We are given moles this time. So the first proportion we write 
is our mole ratio. So we have 6.29 moles of C2H2. We're going to multiply that by the mole ratio between C2H2 and CaOH. We put our C2H2 on the bottom so that we can cancel it out. And then on top, we put our uh, compound that we want, so CaOH2. Okay, and yep, that's right. Um, so cancel out moles of C2H2. And now we multiply this by our equation. One, oh, this should be mole, sorry. One mole of anything equals the molar mass. And so we have to calculate the molar mass from our chem helper. Um, and that is 74.1 grams of Ca. O H two, like that. Cross out moles, cross out moles, and when I multiply 6.29 times 74.1, I get 466.09 grams of CaOH2. All right, chemistry students, thanks for hanging in there. I hope that this helps you out and um, let me know if you have any questions. See you in class. Bye now.